and today the topic of discussion is in singly linked list we'll study delete end function fine okay so prior to this what we have already discussed we have discussed create function we have also discussed menu this was our first video and in second video we have discussed how to print element of a linked list in third video we have discussed about insert and we have created three videos on insert that is insert beginning how to insert bin element in, uh, node at the beginning of linked list insert at middle position that is at any position other than beginning and insert end fine so this was our three videos on insert and then we have discussed delete and in delete we have already discussed two topic what is delete you have to delete a node which is at beginning that is first node delete prior to this video we have just discussed delete mid that is any node which is in mid first time which is between head and tail so it could be second node third node fourth node so we have deleted now the last deletion is what deletion and function so let's start with delete and function so you have already a menu we have already discussed many times that in delete you have three cases delete beginning we have already discussed delete middle we have already discussed and delete from the end now we are going to discuss so for delete beginning you have to press one for delete mid you have to press two and press three for delete end so what we have to do three we have to press three so this ch will have value three switch will have value three will jump to case three and in case three we are calling delete and function so we are calling this so i will jump to and you have a linked list you have a linked list and you have to delete delete this last node last node so what will actually happen when you delete this last node so tail what where tail will come tail will come to the second last why because this is going then the last node may come this so tail head represents the first node and tail represents the last node so only this will be the change so let's start with the coding so we have a code here and in code we have created a pointer temp fine okay we have also created a pointer ptr but they are of type node 1 and what is node 1 i have already explained you many times and i request you to kindly watch my first video for this but let let me explain you once again so this this you know we have already created a structure without this structure you cannot create a linked list so we have created a structure by no name node having two member variable one is data of integer type and one is address pointer of type struct node why struct node because this pointer is not a simple pointer this pointer is keeping the address of another node of same structure type fine so this is self referential structure we have created a variable node one of this structure and then we have type defined so it means type defined means we are representing this st entire structure by node one fine so this node one is responsible so if you do not use type def then every time wherever you are using node one you have to use struct node fine in order to make a short code shorter we have used this type def fine okay so what actually we have we have a linked list and our job is to delete this this node our job is to delete this node fine so uh, what we are going to do now let's check so we have created a pointer node one uh, uh we have created a pointer temp of type node one we have created a pointer ptr of type node one having initialized with value head what is there in head 100 so now ptr will come here fine okay 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 so i have tried my level best to explain you till here now this loop very important very important what this loop is doing this loop is checking is is ptr next 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 of next is ptr next of next is not null so what is ptr next 200 it will come here of next this hundred this 300 so ptr next of next is what i am talking about 300 again understand ptr next is what what is ptr next 200 so i am talking i came at 200 and 200 you know what is the value of this 200 and 200 next and the next of 200 is what 300 so what am i checking is that is ptr next next that is 300 is not null yes 300 is not null 300 is something which is not null which is a value so condition becomes true so the moment condition becomes true i update ptr what i do ptr will have ptr next so PT, what is ptr next 200 so ptr will come at 200 fine okay will i come out of the loop no i will not come out i'll the moment i'll come out only only if the condition become false so i'll again go inside and check ptr next next is not null ptr next is what 300 we came here and the next is 500 which is not null yes this is not null yes actually this is not null so if this is not null so condition becomes true the, the entire value is 500 this is not null yes this is not null the condition becomes true the condition becomes true so i'll update ptr so what i'll update ptr ptr will have ptr next so what is ptr next 300 so ptr will come to 300 so ptr will come here fine okay 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 so this uh 
PTR next is 500. I'm sorry by mistake. I have written 400 over here. This one is 500. Let me make it hide it and make it hide it and make it. This is 500. No? Okay. 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 Uh, let me check again now. So is PTR next of next is not null. PTR next is 500. I came here of next is 600. Yes. The entire value is 600. Which is not null. Yes, this is not null. Condition becomes true. Update PTR. PTR is equal to PTR next. PTR next is 500. PTR will point to 500. Now you can see that PTR is here. Fine. Okay. Will I come out? No, I'll not come out. I'll again check. I'll again check. I'll again check. So PTR next of next is not null. PTR next is 600. I'll come here. Of next is null. Now it is null. So this is now null. Is null not equal to null? Condition becomes false. Null is equal to null. Condition become false. So I'll not execute this and I'll come out of while loop. So I'll come out. I'll come out and I'll see if statement. Fine. So till here I've tried my level best to explain you what I'm tr I was trying to do. So now PTR is where? PTR is just behind the node which I have to delete. No? Just behind and which is that behind node? Tail node. Fine. Okay. So PTR has came, came over here. Fine. Okay. 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 Now what you have to do is that. PTR next of next is equal to null. Yes, we have just checked. PTR next of next is null. Why? PTR is this. Next is 600. We came here to the 600. And next is what? Null. So, yes, PTR next of next is null. Condition becomes true. If condition is true, it will go inside if temp is equal to PTR next. Temp, your temp is a pointer. Not pointer will have PTR next. What is PTR next 600? So, this node is now having two name tail and temp fine okay so this name is having 200 because temp is now is at position 600 fine okay ptr next will have value null because this node is going so ptr will break the relation so ptr next instead of keeping 600 it will keep what null it will keep null the moment it will keep null this link will be broken fine so till now everything is going fine okay now what the main point is tail will have to come back tail is equal to ptr what is there in ptr 500 so tail will come here tail will say now i will be the master of this node no fine so fine okay now what will happen element deleted is equal to percent d and temp data what is temp this node is temp fine because tail has already moved temp data is what temp so you will feel good you will see the output as deleted element is equal to 10 and you will say yes 10 was my last node fine okay now free temp what is temp this last node when you free this free what is free is a dynamic memory allocation function which destroys the memory so this memory will get destroyed and finally you will get this output that is head is the first node tail is the not last node and now you will not fight 10 over here so when you will print when you will print this you will again call print function and when you will print this you will find that 10 has all deleted 10 has been deleted fine okay so this was my uh, topic uh, of discussion was deletion at and function fine